Of the 330 million people in the United States, how many do you think got audited last year? Was it 10 million? Was it 20 million? Was the number that got audited 50 million? No. The IRS audited nearly 934,000 tax returns last year, according to the Tax Policy Center. Now, my name is Kenneth French. I'm here representing Vast Solutions Group. We're the premier tax and financial engineering firm in the United States. We work with business owners all over the country. Some have gotten audited, some haven't gotten audited. Some are afraid, some aren't afraid. If you're doing the right thing, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, taking into account audited corporate returns, which brings the total number of returns examined to 1.1 million, the percentage drops even further to just around a half a percent. A recent Lexington Law poll showed that 25% of entrepreneurs are still afraid to be screened. White older men are more afraid, afraid men are twice as likely to get audited as women, though frankly, women are, uh, men are a lot less likely to get one, Lexington found. Uh, if you're doing anything wrong, as I mentioned, you probably should get audited, you should get caught. Anyway, the IRS audits actually fewer tax returns than ever. Well, mainly because the IRS works with fewer employees than they ever have. The agency's workforce has fallen from 94,000 in 2010 to about 60,000 today, according to the US Treasury Department. Now, while some taxpayers may see this as a positive, the agency's dwindling budget actually has had quite a negative impact, believe it or not. Moreover, it recently announced a $458 billion in budget cut uh, fiscal year last year compared to $1.2 trillion in 2013. As a result of fewer agents conducting audits, the agency's audit rate has dropped to about 0.45% of individual returns, according to the IRS. IRS tax audit rates are at their lowest level in decades, it said recently. There are two types of taxpayers, by the way, who are more likely to attract the attention of the tax office than others. The ultra-rich and the ultra-poor, believe it or not. Perhaps surprisingly, the number of individual tax returns selected for audit has fallen to its lowest level in more than a decade. Now, in fiscal 2016, only 1.5% of all taxpayers or 2.2 million individuals were audited by the IRS. That's down about 3.7% in 1990, in the 1990s, and the lowest rate since 1990 itself. Furthermore, the majority, 71% of correspondence audits, which means they were carried out by mail, according to the tax office. Again, with these audit numbers, and if you're doing anything wrong, does it make sense to be wrong? The, does it make sense to be worried? Probably not. What I would say is keep your head down, work in your business, and succeed.